the priest who discovered the beginning of time. In the early 20th century, when most scientists believed the universe was eternal and unchanging, a quiet Belgian priest named Georges Lemaitre proposed something radical. The universe had a beginning. Space, time, matter, and energy all emerged from an initial state he called the primeval atom. Today, we call it the Big Bang. But Lemaitre was not searching for proof of God, nor was he trying to insert theology into physics. In fact, he strongly resisted that idea. What fascinated him was something deeper, that the universe appears to be intelligible from its very origin. Its birth was not disorder, but structured expansion governed by precise mathematical laws. For Lemaitre, this raised a profound question, not whether science proves God, but whether the universe itself reflects a rational mind behind its emergence. This video explores Lemaitre's vision of cosmic beginnings as the unfolding of meaning, where creation starts not in chaos but in intelligibility, the primeval atom, when space and time were born. Lemaitre's most revolutionary idea was simple but staggering. The universe is expanding, and if we trace that expansion backward, we arrive at a moment when space and time themselves came into existence. This was not an explosion in space, it was the birth of space. The primeval atom was not a physical object floating somewhere, but a condition beyond our normal categories. No distance, no duration, no matter as we know it. From this initial state, the universe unfolded according to precise mathematical relationships. Galaxies formed, stars ignited, and eventually consciousness emerged, all governed by laws that were already implicit at the beginning. Lemaitre saw this as remarkable. The universe did not emerge arbitrarily. Its evolution followed intelligible patterns from the first moment. This suggested that rational structure was not added later. It was present at the very foundation of reality. Creation is not chaos, but lawful becoming. Contrary to popular imagery, Lemaitre did not imagine the Big Bang as violent disorder. He emphasized that physics only describes how the universe evolves from its initial state, not why it exists at all. Yet what struck him was that the universe evolves in a deeply lawful way. Constants are finely balanced. Physical laws are stable. Mathematical symmetry governs cosmic expansion. For Lemaitre, this intelligibility was not accidental. It meant that reality is, at its core, thinkable. And if reality is thinkable, it suggests a profound alignment between the structure of the universe and the structure of mind. This is why Lemaitre rejected the idea that science and faith were in conflict. Science reveals order. Faith contemplates meaning. The two operate on different levels, but they converge on a single mystery, a universe that can be understood because it is ordered from the start. The mind behind the cosmos, rationality before matter. Lemaitre was careful. He never claimed that the Big Bang was proof of God. Instead, he argued something more subtle and more powerful, that the universe's origin lies beyond physics, but its rational structure points to intelligibility rather than absurdity. Before there were particles, before there was energy, there was order. The laws of physics did not emerge from chaos. They governed the unfolding from the first instant. This suggests that intelligence precedes matter, at least in logical order. Lemaitre saw this as compatible with a classical philosophical idea that reality is grounded in logos, rational structure. Whether one calls this divine mind, cosmic reason, or foundational intelligibility, the implication is the same. The universe is not a brute fact. It is a meaningful unfolding, where consciousness eventually arises because reality itself is structured to be known. Consciousness as the universe becoming aware of its origin. For Lemaitre, the emergence of human consciousness was not an accident tacked onto an indifferent cosmos. 
it was the natural consequence of a universe that was intelligible from the beginning. If the cosmos begins in rational order, it is not surprising that it eventually produces minds capable of understanding that order. In this sense, consciousness can be seen as the universe reflecting on itself. The same rationality that structured the first moments of cosmic expansion now operates through human thought, mathematics, and inquiry. Lemaitre's vision invites a radical reframing. Perhaps the Big Bang was not merely the birth of matter, but the first movement in a long process by which intelligibility becomes self-aware. The universe did not begin as chaos that accidentally learned order. It began as order that slowly unfolded into stars, life and conscious minds, capable of asking where it all came from. A beginning that points beyond itself. Georges Lemaitre gave humanity one of its most profound insights. The universe has a beginning, but more importantly he showed that this beginning is not meaningless. It is structured, lawful and intelligible. Whether one approaches this as a scientist, a philosopher or a spiritual seeker, the implication is the same. Reality is not absurd at its core. The universe begins in rationality and unfolds in understanding. Lemaitre never tried to collapse science into theology, but he quietly revealed something revolutionary. A universe born in order invites the question of mind. Not as a dogma, but as a mystery. The Big Bang may mark the origin of space and time, but behind that origin lies something science can gesture toward but never exhaust, the possibility that existence itself is grounded in intelligible consciousness, and that through our own awareness the universe continues to explore its own beginning. Before we close, we've noticed that some of you viewers are not subscribed, so if you could do me a favor and double-check if you're a subscriber to this channel, that would be tremendously appreciated. It's the simple, it's the free thing that anybody that watches this show can do to help us here to keep everything going. So please double-check if you've subscribed, and thank you so much, because in a strange way, you are part of our history. And if this journey resonates with you on a deeper level, we've just launched the official Spiritual Quest merch store. Each piece is designed as a symbol, something you can wear that reflects curiosity, awareness, and the deeper questions we explore here together. If you'd like to support the work and carry the spirit of the quest with you, you'll find the link below. Stay tuned for new drops soon. Thank you for being here and for walking this path with us.